plan and profile sheet creation is a two-step process. Again, I'm going to start in my name boundaries file and we're going to go to the layout of the name boundaries and we're going to start with our plan sheets. And this time we want to pick the plan and profile sheets and this is the plan portion. So you'll see the plan there and that fills out the default scale of one inches to 100 feet. Again, we don't want to uh, create our drawing and we'll just use one to 100, our defaults uh, for this example. So we're going to go ahead and click in our start location field select our baseline and then put in the station that we want to start at. I'm going to again start before I actually have any uh, stationing or baseline just to show that you can do that. And I'm going to uh, accept uh, the creation of that name boundary. Then I'm going to go back to my name boundary dialog. I have to have my profile dynamic profile view open and we're going to switch to our profile view mode. And this time we're going to select plan and profile sheets the uh, profile uh, portion. And so again, uh, that will fill in the dialog, but we want to change our method now uh, to gather our limits from the uh, plan named group. And so whatever you named that plan group is what you want to pick here. And it will follow the same limits as in uh, the plan view. And we do not want to um, turn on a create drawing. We just want to place the name boundary so that we can have it do our annotation for us. And so we'll select to make our dynamic profile view active and then we will select again to show where we're going to place this name boundary and then lastly we will accept the creation of that named boundary and if you are doing a different scale other than the default you'll want to use the spreadsheet that we learned about in prior videos and adjust those values in each of those dialogues once you have your name boundaries located for your plan and your profile you'll go to the uh, name boundaries uh, that manager and we're going to expand the plan group and you should see your group name there and we will again toggle on uh, the last two here and then we will go ahead and proceed to create our plan and profile drawings in this dialogue if you have changed your scale you will want to make sure and that you change that in this dialogue this dialogue this dialogue and finally this dialogue also if you've changed your scale uh, for your profile you'll need to pick the different annotation group that is appropriate. Lastly, you can go ahead and change your saved view names, your drawing model names defaults, and your sheet model name defaults in here. And then you can also add to your sheet index. Once you have these adjustments made in this dialog, you can select OK to proceed to create your plan and profile sheets. And again, I have set this to go to a separate file. So we'll say OK. And so our sheets is being created. In my case, I just have the one that I'm creating, so it's opening that file now. And so here is our plan and profile sheet. And in our case, one inch is 100 feet and a vertical scale of 10. So our vertical exaggeration is 10. And so now we have our plan and our profile sheet. And we can uh, always navigate to either our plan drawing model, which is here, or we can also navigate to our profile drawing model and make the necessary changes there to finalize our plan and profile sheets.